What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today I like carbs. <laughs> no, just kidding. Today we're going to talk about a new fountain pen. A new fountain pen that's not technically, not technically even available yet, but will be very soon. Um, very, very soon. So this is a exclusive uh, with Pen Venture. I'm going to open up some notes that I took here uh, because there's lots to talk about. Lots to talk about. Uh, so while I'm finding that page, there we are. This pen was sent to me for free uh, by Emmy from PenVenture, but I'm not being paid for the review. So all thoughts, concerns, whatever I express are my own. And that fountain pen is a new collaboration with Leonardo Momento Zero. This is the Leonardo Momento Zero Grande Nuda. <laughs> I had to put the little accent. I'm terrible at that, I'm sorry, so I'm gonna stop. Um, before I get any farther into this, I do also want to say that uh, Emmy from PenVenture has uh, put his own video up on his YouTube channel. Link will be in the description. Um, so if you want to check that out, he goes super, super, super into detail as far as the background, um, you know, why they made the pen that they made, um, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, this is just going to be focusing more on the pen itself, not necessarily the backstory. Um, so do go check out his channel if you want to know more. Uh, so this is their latest collaboration. They've done a few uh, and it's beautiful. So right off the bat, you can tell that it is a demonstrator fountain pen, hence the name Nuda. Um, it is, first of all, stunning. Uh, this clearly, as you can see, is gold, uh, but there is also um, four finishes. So you can have gold, rhodium, rose gold or ruthenium. So all of them are demonstrator, but everything that you see here that's gold would then be either rose gold, steel, or ruthenium. The ruthenium guys, if you look at the photos on his website, magnifique, <laughs> stunning. Um, he sent me this gold one, uh, but if I were to purchase one, which I, I might just have to do, um, <laughs> it would most likely be the ruthenium with an extra fine nib, which actually is on this pen. Uh, this pen, you can choose a steel nib or a gold nib uh, option for your pen. So you can kind of customize to what you like. Um, this one is fitted with a gold nib, if you get a steel nib put on it, you will have an ABS plastic feed. If you choose the 14 karat gold nib, then uh, you'll have a ebonite feed. And uh, the, oh my gosh, the amount of choices you have for what kind of nib you want is astounding. I've written them down because there's so many. So there's extra fine, fine, medium, broad, stub, which is essentially a 1.1, an elastic fine, an elastic extra fine, and a double broad. <laughs> so you guys, there's so many options that you can get this pen. You can choose your trim, you can choose your nib material, you can choose your nib size. It's crazy. There's so many things that you can choose to make this your pen, which is awesome. Uh, if you are getting a steel nib, uh, it is 300 euros, uh, not including that. And if it's a gold nib, it's 520 euros, not including that. Uh, which, yes, is a little bit up there, but worth it, uh, in my opinion. And as we go into the writing sample, you'll see why. Um, I do know that when uh, Emmy from PenVenture was trying to get this made, uh, Leonardo was a little bit hesitant um, and he had to kind of like push and fight for it to be a demonstrator because it is twice the amount of work uh, to do any demonstrator pen because then not only do you have to polish the outside, but you have to polish everything on the inside. Otherwise, it just looks like garbage. <laughs> And this does not look like garbage. It is beautiful. Um, and as with basically everything Leonardo, there's no injection molding. 
every pen is assembled by hand and it is also finished by hand as far as the polishing goes. Uh, so that is why they were like kind of hesitant to do it. It also explains the cost a little bit because there's double the amount of time that it takes to make it. Uh, there's 200 pens. Um, I believe it is 200 pens per finish. Uh, and it is limited edition. So when it's gone, it's gone. Um, you know, if it ever gets brought back, don't know, but that is not the intention. Uh, once it's sold, it is sold. Uh, and what's super, super cool, it is the Leonardo's brand new nib design. I'm going to show you a better version of that. Uh, it's Leonardo's brand new nib design. In the writing sample, I will show you uh, two other versions of the pen um, because it they've gone through multiple different nib designs. Uh, and this is their number six size. Uh, it is a um, Yovo nibs. Their, all their nibs are, are Yovo, uh, which is very, very cool. But, but they are in the process of uh, bringing their nibs in-house as well, much like Visconti does. Um, they don't have quite the budget <laughs> that Visconti had to be able to do it right away. So they're in the transition period of that, uh, which is really, really cool. What's up everybody? Uh, last minute editing Carrie here. Um, I'm about to insert a photo that a, a representative from Leonardo wrote about how they're transitioning their own nibs uh, to be in-house. Um, so I'll let that go. Uh, for just a couple seconds so if you want to see and be able to read through everything uh, hit pause when you see it cool carrying on now um, it is their grande size so i have a couple other grandes here so this is the primary manipulation which is actually a little bit bigger uh, this is from 2019 and then of course the nuda and it is a little bit smaller than their Magico. Uh, so if you're familiar with like an Aurora Optima, for example, it's much bigger than that. Uh, and Platinum 3776. And then finally, one other pen that most people are familiar with, the Pilot Metropolitan. So it is a larger pen size. Uh, that said, it does still fit very, very comfortably in my hand. Uh, it's not super heavy, uh, so I don't mind that it is a larger pen. Uh, you can post if you wish, uh, but I don't like to post. Uh, it becomes slightly back weighted for me, um, but I don't have huge, huge hands. If you do have very large hands, you may want to post. Uh, just to give it that extra bit of weight since it's not super heavy um, but i i don't like to use it posted uh, the grip section is much like all of leonardo's where it's got sort of like this taper down here i quite like it the grip section doesn't look like it would be very comfortable but it is um, and even this little ring that it denotes the, like the body of the pen from where like the cap will go a, it's so far back so most of you won't feel it, uh, but B, even where I do feel it, like in the back of my thumb, it doesn't uh, bother me whatsoever. It's so, so smooth. Uh, and I love the fact that you can see all of the ink right down into where the feed goes. It's so cool. <laughs> I love demonstrator pens. Um, I like demonstrator pens that have something else to look at as well, if that makes sense. So not just like literally purely clear. Uh, I do like seeing the parts and, and movements of everything. And I like that you can see where like the inner like parts are here. The, the piston knob, sure. But this is really what I like to see. Um, but what I do appreciate, of course, of course, is the sloshing ink, which I have um, SBRE Brown uh, ink in here by Ackerman, but yet Diamine makes it complicated. Uh, 
Um, so yes, number six size gold, 14 karat gold nib uh, with an ebonite feed. Just pure class. I absolutely adore it. Uh, this del this Delta has, <laughs> this definitely has some Delta uh, inspirations. In fact, that's where Emmy got the inspiration from was a Delta uh, oversize. And of course, I can't help but think of Delta when I see a roller ball on the end of a clip. It does have their conical designs on the end here as well. One thing that is really cool and I didn't even notice at first was like this little flare out on the inside of the cap where the nib goes. Um, you can't feel it at all. It, it's just sort of like bows out into the middle and then tapers a little bit at the end. You can't feel it, but it's just something to look at, which is kind of neat. And I just, I never really saw that before. Uh, it took me a second, uh, but I'm gonna stop rambling about it, first of all, and I'm gonna get into the writing sample in about 30 seconds. But what I did wanna say as well uh, is that Emmy from Penventure has offered a giveaway on this pen. Um, it will not be in this video. I'm gonna be posting information about that giveaway in a couple days. Uh, the reason why I wanted to uh, separate the review from the giveaway uh, is just so that this video can remain standing without additional information uh, when the giveaway is over. So stay tuned for a giveaway announcement for a uh, Momento Zero Grande Nuda in just the coming few days. All right, let's get into the writing sample. So I definitely realized that <laughs> this is off screen. So sorry about that. All right, so we have the 14 karat gold. And this is an extra fine. Nice and wet. Uh, ink is S-B-R-E brown. with the partnership from Ackerman, even though the ink is technically, I believe, made by Diamine. <laughs> it's a complicated web, but it's a great ink if you can get a hold of it. Uh, so this pen is super, super, super smooth. I absolutely love it. There's a tiny little bit of feedback, but just enough to know that you've made contact with the paper, which is really nice. This is, of course, Tomoe River paper. 52 GSM. Uh, as far as any like flexibility or anything like that goes, you're not really going to get a ton with this. Um, you'll get a little bit, but like I mentioned before, actually, let me show you. Uh, you can get their actual elastic nibs with this little cutout here so that it's specifically meant to flex a little bit. Um, this is their Momento Magico fountain pen. I do have a review of this if you wanna see the nib in action. Um, so do check that out if you want to, but this of course is their regular. And I was actually just messing around with my other Momento Grandes and I noticed, here, let me see if I can do this without dropping them all. I noticed that there's a really cool progression in their nib design, which is really fancy. Check out my Instagram if you want to see like a high res photo of it, but it's super cool. I like it a lot. Um, this pen definitely is a work of art. Uh, if you are a demonstrator fan, then I think you're going to really, really, really like it. I adore the fact that you can get so many different finishes. Um, and the polishing on the inside of the pen is superb. Uh, even like underneath where like the um, threads are is like one of the most clear polishings that I've seen, which is really, really cool. Fits amazing in the hand. Everything feels super smooth, super well thought out. Uh, as with any Leonardo pen I've ever used, 
expectations more than met. Um, They really do take the time to think through their design. They finish off every single edge. They really leave nothing, nothing to, uh, to chance as far as like, you know, will some people like it? Will some people not? Even on their like lesser expensive models, absolutely everything is thought through. And I really like that. The capping is super, super smooth. The piston works phenomenally. The ebonite feed definitely keeps up. Um, that was just cause I had it uncapped for a while. Uh, like it's definitely a nice and juicy pen. Of course your ink will, uh, you know, play a factor in this, but for an extra fine nib, like this is dynamite. Love it. Uh, I've never had a bad experience with a Leonardo pen. I really, really haven't. Uh, and I think if you get the chance, I highly, 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 highly recommend that you check this out. Um, the great thing about getting it through Pen Venture, and again, not being paid to say this just because uh, <laughs> I've ordered through them many times. I've been in contact with Emmy many times. Again, thank you for sending me this. Um, but the benefit of having uh, order through Pen Venture is that Emmy will tune the nib for you um, to write to your specifications. So for me, anytime I place an order, I ask him to make sure that it writes super, super, super smoothly, uh, and very, very wet. Um, and I've even like, I've, I've never been disappointed, <laughs> never been disappointed. So do I recommend that you pick one up if you have the funds? Yes. Yes, I do. Uh, because I don't think Leonardo really wants to make any more demonstrator pens because of the amount of effort it takes. Um, and I really like this like sort of dip down on the inside of the cap. It's, oh gosh, it's just so cool. Um, so I don't know if they will ever make more outside of the 200 that they've made to partner with PenVenture, but that has yet to be seen. <laughs> So I recommend getting one if you can. Uh, I recommend you checking it out as soon as you can because I don't know how many are going to be left in the pre-order phase. Uh, I imagine some finishes will go faster than others. Um, Some nib sizes may go faster than others, but definitely check it out for sure. Uh, Again, check out Emmy's uh, video from their YouTube pen venture. Uh, because they did like a super, super hyper, hyper detailed uh, with like measurements, weights, all that kind of stuff. They go into the backstory of how they made it, why they made it, that kind of stuff. Um, So definitely check their channel out. Uh, Even if you're not specifically interested in this pen, I would recommend that you check that out. Uh, And then again, stay tuned uh, for a giveaway announcement. Uh, I'm going to do a a video posting of this separately about this giveaway. So that way when the giveaway is over, I can take that video down um, so that it doesn't change this video. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys, I think I've rambled quite enough. Uh, If you like this video, hit that like button. If you liked it a lot, but haven't done so already, like over 65% of the people who watch these videos do hit the subscribe. New videos come out every Monday and Friday uh, and the occasional on Tuesday. Also, if you're in the description, check out my Patreon account uh, if you would like to help support me and what I do on this channel for you guys. And as always, I appreciate you. I thank you for hanging out with me this far into the video. If you're here, you're the reason I make them. All right, guys. Thank you. Bye. All right, everybody. It's time again to thank the Patreon crew. I'm filming this as of September 12th, 2022. So If you don't see your name here, I do update these regularly. We have two ultimate humans, Mr. Daniel Roddy and Comp Dave. And for my VIP tier, we have Susan, McCall Bennett Lawrence, Karen Epstein, Gretchen Peters, Carol Lowry, Michael Simon, Subiwan Kenobi, Catherine Molina, Weile Chang, Brian Law, Bill Pemberton, Lucas Bell, Robert Myers, Marissa Calvo, Eric Lineman, Jessica Chow, DigitalTent.Tech, Brian Hunter, Bobby A. Bailey, Bass, Joan Worthman, 
Luna Wolf Games, Aaron C., and Glenn Kelly. Thank you, everyone who supports me, whether you're in the shout out tier or not. You all help make this dream possible. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and once again, I'll see you next time. Bye.